The voting is something that, uh, for years, it actually goes back to uh, a movie called Altered States. And this is where somebody I was in a decoration tank. And for years, I'd always been very intrigued by it. And this was a movie from like the 80s. So, I mean, it's ridiculously old. I'm a family physician. I'm specifically a house cult doctor here in Washington, D.C. And uh, over the years, trying to find a place where I could do this. And I'd done this before, but uh, not like this. Uh, before, it was uh, very you know, confined space, a little claustrophobic. Um, <laughs> and so once I found uh, Solex, then I was intrigued. I am now uh, hooked. As a physician, um, how do you think floating benefits like, any person? The key thing for floating is what it does uh, to your body and your mind. The, the biggest thing is we have so much stimulus throughout the day, we don't even really recognize it. So when you have an opportunity to kind of cut everything out that means you're weightless that means that you're in a temperature that's controlled you know, it's it's an environment that is completely devoid of any sensory information except what's in your head <laughs> so it gives an opportunity for you to kind of cut those things out and reset yourself dr brown how often do you recommend floating for myself i do it every other week and i usually try to put that as a uh, a ritual so that I can look forward to it, but also it's uh, an opportunity for me to be able to, you know, come to a reset every two weeks, if you will. If I am really struggling, I may try to come in sooner, or if I'm traveling or something like that, I'll extend it, but it's always on my calendar. Do you recommend to combine floating with some other self-care techniques? I think uh, for myself, floating, the experience really needs to start at a certain time. Because I try to wrap it into other things, it's meditation. But uh, also after this, I usually do a massage. Do you think float therapy is beneficial for a certain age group or for everyone? I think floating really, I mean, it, you know, part of it is understanding your own needs. And I think uh, for those, those particularly in an age group where, you know, maybe they are partying a little bit too hard. As a physician, I've taken care of people who, you know, kind of keep hitting hard every day uh, and really never give a chance for the body to just tune in, turn around and drop out. And that's the big thing. What's your favorite part of Solix Float Spa? For myself, it's it's first when I come in, uh, the experience coming back to this, it's always a pleasant experience. And you know, you can tell with the people that are here and the people more importantly who are coming here. But uh, once they've done it and done it again, then they certainly are mission oriented which is what I, I, when I come in, I'm relaxed and I go right to my space and I'm, I'm ready. What is a uh, healthcare advice you would give to clients watching right now? So the one thing to understand is it's not just floating. This is also Epsom salt. So right. if you are engaged in activities where there's a lot of muscle strain or, you know, you've got inflammation, then, you know, in addition to just floating, you have to understand that this is going to help any musculoskeletal soreness, inflammation. It's uh, a very concentrated Epsom salt solution so that you're literally floating. So it has a dual benefit. Very often I will actually do some stretching while I'm in the flow initially and at the very end and i can tell you i have much more flexibility and my you know the pains and aches of the day are not as prevalent